Sophie. I'm a second year psychology student with the empathy, compassion and get-go to be your next mental health and disabilities officer. I see the role as somewhat comparable to a mother grizzly bear. Bear with me a moment. Picture, if you will, the way she supports those in an often inhospitable environment. I've been a rep for the charity Student Mind for the past year, furthering mental health representation whilst also learning the intricacies of mental health support in Cambridge. A nationwide survey revealed that 78% of students have experienced a mental health problem, but worryingly, the majority did not seek support. <coughs> the success of our counsellor can be seen in her demand, but this means she's oversubscribed. I love the opportunity to look into increasing her weekly hours so that she's always available when needed. Now, imagine how the bear shows the way to the ripest bushes and marks the territory with messages for all to encounter. This position has great potential to establish better awareness in college. Beginning from day one, with the freshest mental health talk, not to intimidate, but to establish that there exists a range of compassionate support networks to suit everyone. This would be solidified in updated posters and information, and further through a mental health bulletin and delicious themed welfare event. Information on disabilities is often neglected. This is unacceptable given the prevalence here not only of physical disabilities, but also learning disabilities, which are commonly undiscovered until under the pressures of Cambridge. It should be our duty to provide for prospective students with disabilities. The decision here to apply may ride on such provision. Lastly, witness if you will, the strength and ferocity the bear is capable of when necessary. <laughs> Shockingly, this role currently receives no formal training something which, given the associated responsibilities, I will fight to change. This is my vision for mental health and disabilities officer, partly inspired by a recent BBC documentary, don't blame me. She's a symbol of care, she's a beacon of progress, and she spreads awareness wherever she goes. Please vote for me. Okay.